Notes, bouquets, and other mementos mark a tragedy along Names Drive. That's the quiet, rural Grass Valley neighborhood where 33-year-old Sage Crawford was killed last week. None of us deserve to be shot and murdered in front of our children. Numerous community members joined Crawford's mother and sister in memorial. I didn't know her, but I think that it's really sad when someone dies. Speaking for the family is Sacramento activist Leah Shank of Impact. They're calling for answers and accountability. Why didn't you shoot her in the leg? Why didn't you shoot her in the arm? According to her family, Crawford was with her four and six year old daughters, knocking on doors in the neighborhood seeking help after an incident at the nearby hotel they were staying at made her feel unsafe. The Nevada County District Attorney's Office says neighbors called 911, reporting the woman acting strangely. When at job point, she has a knife. Major deployment. The two responding deputies arrived to find Crawford holding a knife. With the two children as witnesses, one deputy deployed a taser but missed. The second deputy fired a gun, killing her. The Nevada County District Attorney's Office says most of that incident was captured on video and audio through the deputies' dash cameras. All of that is expected to be released sometime publicly within the next week.